Um, with the last minute or two here, let me try to uh, wrap up. As I always do, I jot down some notes of some key points that you're all making. Um, the awareness issue came out early, and that uh, a big part of of dealing with this problem is creating the awareness that this is not something we can be complacent about. This is something we need to get out in front of. We got to get proactive. Uh, awareness was also talked about in, the, in uh, another vein, and that is situational awareness of knowing what's happening out there being key to getting things done. Uh, we all agreed that um, getting in front of the curve and proactive is, is going to be important. I know for years it seemed like the bad guys would wait for the good guys to come out with a solution, and that would be a challenge for the bad guys to beat the new solution. It was sort of a leapfrogging process that I think someone brought up here. Uh, identity management was brought up a number of times as being a key, and I think uh, we all nodded our heads. I was looking around the room that if you can really get that identity piece nailed down, then a lot of other things can fall into place fairly easy. Uh, mobility cloud and big data came up as uh, three of the areas where uh, not necessarily challenges but awareness that there are issues that need to be addressed in those three areas and they might be an opportunity, uh, an opportunity to uh, uh, come up with some uh, good cybersecurity solutions that can address those areas. Cost, we all know about the, uh, the dollars and the economy and tight budgets and uh, what's going on there and the political system will figure that out hopefully over time. But uh, clearly it's going to be um, one where you're going to have to make good decisions based upon what is the most cost effective. Uh, the threats constantly change. The workforce is, uh, uh, needs to be educated and needs to change as the threats change to keep up with those threats. Uh, the word agility came out a number of times in terms of uh, being, you know, you're going to have to be flexible here and be able to move quickly in different areas when you're living in a world of real time. And I think finally when we were talking about some keys, uh, I heard collaboration over and over again that the government's not going to do it by themselves and industry's not going to do it by themselves. It's going to take a, a collaborative effort to uh, get where we need to go. With that, I first want to thank our panelists here from taking time from their very, very busy schedules to come out and speak to us and be part of the show.